The USS Indianapolis was a heavy cruiser chief that delivered components for the atomic bomb that would later devastate Hiroshima. On its return trip, the ship was struck by two torpedoes into its side from a Japanese submarine and sank swiftly in just 12 minutes. Of the 1196 crew aboard, a thousand men made it into the water alive. Half hour or so, first shark appeared, Tiger, 13 footer. No distress signal had been transmitted, the bomb mission was kept so secret. They didn't even identify the ship as past due for a week. Oh, and at the crack of dawn, the sharks came cruising by, Chief. And so the men gathered into small groups. The shark would approach the closest guy, who would begin to holler and beat and yell at him. Sometimes, the shark would move on. Other times, it wouldn't. That shark will hang around and occasionally stare right at you, directly into your eyes. The shark's feature is that it has those big, black, dark eyes, lifeless eyes, similar to a doll's eyes. It doesn't even appear to be alive when it approaches you. That is, until it bites into you, at which point those big, black, dark doll's eyes turn over white, and the ocean erupts in that awful, high-pitched screaming. So, after the first attack, the water turned red and the men began to yell and panic. That's when the sharks really went in, Chief. Tearing the soldiers of the SS Indianapolis into pieces, in spite of all their hollering and pounding. A hundred men were lost by the end of the first dawn. Perhaps a thousand sharks in the water, I don't know. Averaging six of the soldiers for every hour. One of the men swam to a friend who appeared to be asleep. The soldier grabbed him to rouse him from his slumber, but he just bobbed up and down in the water on the spot. Like one of those uh, plastic bottles bobbing up and down in the ocean. He'd been bitten clean in half, chief, below the waist. A young pilot in a Lockheed Adventura swooped in low at midday on the fifth day and noticed the horror. A few hours later, a huge patrol bomber came down and began to pick up the soldiers. An agonizing wait, knowing the safety was a moments away, and yet the water was still teeming with frenzied tigers that continued to pull men under the water's surface. And so, 1,011 guys entered the water chief on June 29, 1945. 316 soldiers emerged. The shocks claimed the rest. <laughs>